This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. This is not a traditional ranch story. When I was uh, growing up, my dad was in the active duty military. And uh, while this was always a kind of a home base for our family, I did not grow up on the ranch. And it actually wasn't until I was in my 30s uh, and had already started my family of three children that my wife and I decided to, um, to give ranching a shot. It was really out of the blue. Um, and we've been at it now uh, for exactly 10 years. The couple gathered lots of perspective while living in Hawaii and later Montana before they settled on Stom Prude's family land. So being, being that uh, I didn't grow up on the ranch, I lived uh, you know, in, the, in the regular world, I guess you would say. Um, and also being a, a people person myself, uh, when, it, when it comes to viewing our industry, I do try to look at it through the eyes of uh, what would a beef consumer say. And the reality is, is a beef consumer does not look like a beef a cattle rancher. The learning curve was steep when they made the leap of faith to get into production agriculture. And the Beef South Dakota program gave them a foundation. Through that, we were able to get a broader scope of what our industry looked like. Um, it's, it was really a blessing to be able to get that well-rounded view of the beef industry so uh, we could look beyond the mailbox. Raising high-quality beef isn't as simple as it might look while watching cows graze on the native western South Dakota range. Becoming a rancher late in life, um, it amazed me the complexity of the, the industry and the decisions, the decisions that we have to make every day. The producer was both overwhelmed and thankful for the tools available. People are constantly blown away at the amount of uh, information and technology that is used in what we do here. Um, it's not just a, a, a turn the bowl out and see what happens type of thing. Uh, genetic selection is uh, very cutting edge. Um, every year it's advancing and, and what we can, the markers that we can spot to get certain traits out of our animals, um, whether it be uh, the, the quality of their meat or their, their ability to produce big calves or what have you. But it's because of the advances in genetic technology that we have an amazing amount of information available to us. Marketing is equally as complex, and Stom Prude says he looks forward to learning more about all of it each year. I'm Bob Cervera. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.